and nice ice cold Pepsi. Hey, what's up, everybody? Jesse with Southern Reels. That's good. Well, obviously, I've been off the scene for a while. I haven't done a video in like six weeks. And what's been going on is I took some time off. I uh, had a vacation at the end of July. Went to the beach for a week with the family. Had a blast. Fished every single day. Didn't film any of it. Fished from the piers. Took the kayak out. I didn't take the boat. Unfortunately, there's no room for parking with the boat. But I had a good time. I caught a lot of fish off the pier, actually. Jigging for flounder around the Jeanette's and Agsid Pier. Pretty much killed them. Caught a 21-inch flounder, actually, at Jeanette's. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. I uh, had a good time down at the Oregon Inlet on my uh, kayak as well. So it was just a nice relaxing week and it was really nice to not have to worry about filming anything as well Once I got back, you know, it was go time with work. It's August. You know, I'm a contractor I'm a builder remodeler and that's peak season. I mean, we were rocking. I was rocking actually I'm pretty much working by myself now. The heat was tough I'm not gonna lie the weather the heat took a beating on me uh, It pretty much work all day work as much as you can in it really come home cold shower food and sleep that's pretty much what I did for most of August. And actually about half of July as well. It just, almost like it just melts your brain to where you really have motivation to do nothing other than just kind of rest. You know, I got through that and thank God it's finally cooled down some. On top of that, I've had some projects going on here at the house that's kind of ate up all my free time. And that's the reason I haven't been doing any videos at all. Uh, one of the main projects that I did, which I'll show you real quick, was put up a lean-to off the back of my shop out here walk out here so i can show you this actually you can already kind of see it a little bit none of this was here i actually built all of this over the past month i mean which ain't too much i had some help from my neighbors some family came and helped me with it as well you know did most of it myself but it's a place to where i can actually put my boat out of the weather it's a shame to have such a nice boat like that and have to park it out in the yard i mean i could put it in my shop but unfortunately when i put it in there i had to like fold the top and everything down so it's just a pain in the butt and i always wanted to get my dump trailer here out of the weather as well so i pretty much built this structure here and it's nice it's pretty much doubled the roof coverage of my existing shop i finally can get my dump trailer out of the weather actually i can get my lawnmower out of the shop as well i plan to close this back wall in i'm going to close this middle bay in and pretty much probably close this entire boat section of the shop in just to try to keep the boat as clean as possible and keep it out of the weather completely because i really want to take care of that thing you know it's a lot of money on top of that once i got going with that you know i got looking at my shop and it was just kind of a disaster i haven't really done much other than tidy it up in here in a long time so i dug in and pretty much went through everything every cabinet every corner everything that i had if you notice i had all that stuff sitting on this wall over here is gone now reorganized things you know, moved all my fishing stuff over here. Actually took use of all these upper cabinets that I really never used before and put a bunch of stuff up in them and was able to pretty much get everything from this side of the shop gone and organized and stored neatly on this side of the shop. The whole point of that is, is I wanna start doing some woodwork this winter coming up in fall. I'm gonna build cabinets for a house and just do a bunch of projects and stuff. I need somewhere that I can set up my table saws and all my equipment and do that work without having a huge dust problem. Now, of course I could do it in here, but it's just gonna dust the entire shop out. So my plan is to actually go ahead and finish these walls and insulate everything on this side, finish the ceiling. I'm pretty much gonna work my way around and re-insulate and finish the walls and the ceiling on the entire shop, but I'm gonna do this half first. Fix these windows here. I don't get rid of this old uh, dolly system that's up here in hoist that I'll never use. It was from the original owner of the place. Take that down and I'll probably store it. I may use it one day, but it's no good to me in here. And I want to make basically a, like a roll down curtain that comes across this beam here. I'm in two sections like PVC with some heavy vinyl like tarping or something on it that I can just roll down and pretty much cut the shop in half. I actually took my freezer and put it on a uh, casters so I can roll it around. So all I gotta do is take it and roll it right over here, you know, in front of that shelf. And I'll be able to actually pretty much seal this whole half of the shop off over here. And then I can get in here and do some woodwork without, you know, completely destroying my entire shop with dust. So I'm kind of excited about that. That was kind of my whole idea of getting into this. Um, I do want to take my sliding door that I have down and eventually and put a regular garage door in that's insulated. I'm trying try to get this place for one to keep the critters out because you know in the past I've had you know the problem was mice getting in here of course you know that's any garage or shop. I'm gonna try to get that down as much as possible. I know you'll never stop it and pretty much just get it renovated so this winter when it comes around and I'm bored to death and I got spare time I can actually get out here keep it comfortable 
and do some projects and it's just something i've always wanted to do but unfortunately the shop is not insulated at all and it's very drafty because of the doors and even with a jet heater running in here it just wasn't enough to keep it to where it was comfortable but i'm kind of getting rid of some of these shelves and stuff here and this old sink i'm actually not getting rid of it i'm just moving it into the shed for now as you can see i'm still sorting cleaning all this stuff out here once i get this shop done my next project is that shed over there i got to rebuild it and put a roof and stuff on it I mean, none of that's going to happen this year. That'll probably be next spring. But I am going to try to get this shop hooked up, get it painted, get the roof sealed. It's just such a nice place, and I've never really done much to it other than, like I said, just tidy it up. So I'm excited, and this is pretty much what I've been doing between working and family time for the past month. I really haven't been fishing other than just out here in the local river for a few hours with the family. Really didn't catch nothing. We did go out in the boat. I haven't even been in the order at all, honestly. Uh, I may go tomorrow, though. I'm thinking I may actually go down to Lynn Haven Inlet. I got it hooked up right now. I moved it because I think I'm getting ready to burn this big pile of stuff that's sitting out here. If it ain't too late, the winds have finally calmed down some. That's pretty much what's been going on on my end of things. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't done any videos, but, you know, I just need some time to get some stuff done. I actually had a bunch of people email me. Asked me if I was okay, you know, I hadn't seen anything from me. And that's pretty cool, actually, that people seem concerned because I haven't posted in a while. I definitely appreciate that. Yeah, I'm just fine. It's just had other things going on. And honestly, I got a little bit burnout on the YouTube scene there for a bit, you know, constantly trying to come up with videos and trying to go out and catch fish and stuff. And I just need a little break, you know, that way when I come back to it, I'll be nice and fresh and the weather will be cooler. And hopefully I have a really good fall and into winter season. Because now that I have the boat, I can pretty much get on fish pretty much through the winter as well. So that's what's up on my end of things, folks. I appreciate you guys hanging around and I will definitely get back on the scene as quick as I can. You know what? I may just go ahead it out and film. Try to catch something. I might go out of Lynn Haven tomorrow and try to catch some fish. So that's what's up. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Peace. Pepsi. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Pepsi at all. Wish I was, though.